In this video, I want to show you how to go from an Excel spreadsheet into a SharePoint list. Here's a typical Excel spreadsheet. It's fairly important that the field names will be uh, on the top row, actually on row one. And uh, you know, then we have a big list of data after that. And in this case, it's going to be in sheet one of this workbook that's called Customers and Orders. So I want to minimize Excel for a second. Now, I'll show you a way that should work. Uh, let's go back to SharePoint. And here's something in SharePoint that should work. And I'm going to get to a point where it's not going to work, and then I'll take you in a different direction. But so here we are in SharePoint, and uh, this is SharePoint 2013. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick on the uh, site contents. Pick on the, uh, the wheel, and then we'll go to site contents. And then from here, I'll say add an app. And then in this case, I'm going to scroll down and go to the next page of the apps. And here's one that says import spreadsheet. And it's going to import it into a SharePoint list. So let's try to go down that path. And I'll call this one um, test. And then you can put a description in if you wanted to. This is going to be the name of the list right there, test. And I'll pick on choose file. And I'm going to point to that same Excel spreadsheet that we were just looking at. It's called customers and orders. There it is. And now when I pick on uh, import, I'm getting this message. This feature requires a browser that supports ActiveX controls. Now, I've tried this on... Uh, Internet Explorer, I've tried it on Google um, Chrome, I've tried it on Firefox, and neither one of them allow me to do this. So we'll try another way. We're going to go into Microsoft Access. And from Access, we're going to go ahead and import that Excel spreadsheet. So I want to go ahead and pick on uh, external data in Access, and we'll say Excel. And now I'll point to that same Excel spreadsheet. So I'll pick on Browse. And at this point, I'll point to my uh, folder that has my Excel spreadsheet. And there's the same one that I showed you a couple minutes ago. It's called Customers and Orders. And I'll click on OK to import in that into Access. I'm going to use Sheet 1 like I just showed you. The first row contains the column headings like I just showed you. And then from here we can just pick on Finish. And now that should have made a table in my Access database. Now I'm going to give that a better name. So I'll rename that in Access. I'll call that one uh, Customers, for example because that'll be the actual list name. I'm going to say customers from Excel. Now, once that table is in access, here's how we can get it into SharePoint. We're going to right click on that table or even a query from access and we'll pick on export. And here it says SharePoint list. Now at this point, it has, um, it says specify a SharePoint site. So if you didn't have your SharePoint site at that, on this list here, then you would uh, copy the, uh, copy and paste the uh, URL into the section right here. But I already have this one set up and I'll click on OK. And we're gonna specify a new list and we can call it that same name or give it a different name. And it even says open the list when finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. You can see it's connecting to SharePoint. Obviously, it might take longer if you have a larger data set. Now, it went into my SharePoint. And then here, you can see it made it into a list on SharePoint. So, you can see I tried to go and use that app that's in the SharePoint site. I'm telling you, I tried it on three different browsers and it just didn't work. So my workaround was to import the table 
import the Excel spreadsheet into Microsoft Access, and from there, from Access, export it into a SharePoint list, and you can see it worked very, very well. So that's a great way to go from an Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint by way of Access.